Hi and welcome to Minecraft and RTX. Now if you don't know what RTX is, it's a new ray tracing technology which has just come into Minecraft and I was sceptical to be honest. I've never been a real Minecraft player but I was waiting for this to come out because for me it would be a bit of a game changer because I would actually be more appealed to try and build things on it and play around with it because it's more appealing to me. Now after playing it for probably two hours on all the different maps that have come out, I'll show them later. It is extremely good. I'm not going to lie, it's surpassed what I thought it was going to be. Now, original Minecraft for me was dull and boring. Yes, there was packs, but this RTX pack that you can get, the four of them are honestly amazing. Now, this is the maps I'm showing now that you can download in the store. These are phenomenal, the guys have done these, props to them. In this I will show you how to download the RTX texture packs and how to install them and also talk you through them as well because you can actually do this on your own world which for me is even better because I can sit and play with it as much as I want. Now for the average person who likes building this and you just want to make something that looks really cool the RTX is going to make that so much more appealing to you. Now, as I said, these are ready-made maps. They've all been fine-tuned. You can't change the settings on them, so they're perfect. But don't be fooled. When you go into make your own world, you can pretty much make it look like this as well. Now, I am very much a novice in Minecraft, but I have already put some little things together using the free packs that you get from the websites, which we'll show you. And they work really well, extremely well. Now, I've kept all the data at the top so you can see it. No major frame drops. There was one in the city with all the neon lights. I did struggle a little bit. I've got a 2080 Ti and it did jump around quite a bit, if I'm being honest. But the rest of the maps were absolutely perfect. The way the lights contrast across into different areas is honestly stunning, even underwater. Now, as I said, you can do this as well. You can build these worlds, which opens a whole realm of possibilities of what you can do with this now because of the technology it's using. Just to be clear, this is only Windows 10. You have to be part of the beta. To get that, you have to go to the Insider Hub, sign up to it. I'll put links below how to get there, everything else. But mainly I'm going to show you how to put the shader packs in because I struggled at first to find some. So it's to make it easier for you. Now this is parts that I've actually made just to demonstrate what's in the shader packs itself. As you can see, the contrast to light is phenomenal. That's absolutely amazing compared to what it used to be. Now, as I said, I was always put off by Minecraft because it looked really dull. But the way this is done is it's just it's a game changer for how it's done. And for RTX ray tracing. As I said, I was very sceptical about the technology, but this has really made me think that it could be a game changer in the coming years of how this looks. Now, there's other games that use it, yes, but for something so simple, it's really going to change how people probably look at Minecraft. Some of the people like me who used to turn away from it, it does make it interesting because it looks really nice now. So, for me, it's just opens a whole new world to what can be done. Now this is all live footage from everything I took. Now, I'll quickly take you through how to do the packs, where to find them, etc. All links are below. Also the link that you put into your command line when you try to find the folders. I'll have that on screen for you as well, so it's a lot easier. I watched a lot of videos and people were just stuttering away through it. I'll put it down so you can copy and paste it. It's very easy find it honestly download these try it you do have to have an rtx card to do it though that's the only thing so if you are running a very low end graphics card you won't be able to do this now to get these packs it's very easy you go to nvidia website i'll put links below and you go to the next page which i'll put the main link to and download from these hyperlinks basically they will download a raw file straight to your desktop very easy, no dodgy links or anything else. It's all coming straight from the main source. Now, once you get the RAR files on your desktop, 
just extract them to your desktop. Now, I've already extracted them to my desktop from when I installed them, so you'll see a lot flashing up that probably won't flash up in yours because you're not going to repeat the same files that I've already got on my desktop. So if it comes up different, don't worry, it's just because I've already got them on there. Now, as I said, this is coming straight from NVIDIA's website, so it is safe. It's not some rubbish Dropbox that you randomly know. After they're all dropped into new files, simply put them together in your desktop. Now, the very easy bit, a lot of people seem to really struggle on how to get to this stage. But from there, all you're going to do is go to App Data, Local, Packages, find the Microsoft, Minecraft, UWP, then go to Local State, Games, find the Mojang, then Resource Packs. Very simple. As soon as you find that, you're just going to drop them into that stage. I've already got them in, but I'll show you now. You just literally drag them and drop them in there. It's as simple as that. That's all you have to do. And these are all the RTX files from practically the maps that are in the store now that will let you do it. Now, after you've done that, you're simply just going to start Minecraft as you normally would. When you've done this, it's all up and booted. Make sure, as I said, you have went and you've signed in to be part of the Insider Hub beta. If you haven't done that, then you're not going to get through it. You can get into the Insider Hub via the Microsoft Store, download it, join it. When you do it, go to Manage on Minecraft, change it to Beta, then choose the RTX option. After you went into Minecraft itself, as you can see, I now have the resource packs for all the ones you just downloaded which allows me to do the NVIDIA RTX. Click on the one you want to do, I'm just going to do a random one just to show that the map is going to create in an RTX format straight from the start. Now bear in mind you're going to have, if you're going to do some sort of world, find the resource pack out the four that you like because you're stuck with that one, you can't bring them all in. So find the blend that you want. If you just want to do a normal world, the NVIDIA packs, their soul packs, are really focused on certain objects. But the other two are more of a world expanded version. So think about that before you start. Now as you can see, ray tracing is already programmed through. It's already in. All working nice and easy. Now, you can see straight away the difference just with ray tracing. As I said, for me it's massive because... It was always dull. Now, make sure you are in creative mode. Obviously, I said I am the novice of Minecraft. It took me a while at very first when I done this to even realize. As soon as you're in creative mode, you can see you now have access to everything, everything you want, all the glass, all the walls, and you can build to your heart as content. Now, as I said, when you're building your worlds and you want to do things, try and use the light as much as possible by using all the different textures and tones of glass. That will really open up the building you're trying to make. Now, don't be fooled by thinking it's just glass. Having openings to the sky just coming clean in with the sun, creating sun shafts, that will create an atmosphere as well, like you've seen in some of the buildings from the very start. It's honestly gonna make worlds look so much nicer as I said I'm gonna try and play around and build with things just to manipulate light as much as possible to try and build worlds that are really interesting to look around now I've got some ideas of what I'm gonna build already but you might want to recreate worlds that you've already created now you can bring maps across but they have said that they can be glitchy and might not work so bear that in mind as well there's a facts and questions on the websites that I've linked below. I recommend you read them fully. They've got full instructions as well. So if different language or you found it hard to follow, they've got full guides if you look through all the stuff that they've put. It will, honestly, it will get you through quite easily. Now you can see even the water just looks absolutely stunning compared to what it used to be. Now you think of some games that come out now which aren't Minecraft focused or block shaped it looks better than them <laughs> now I'm surprised because I never ever thought I would ever do a Minecraft video or anything to do with Minecraft but the RTX has really changed it for me and how it can be done and it makes me interested to actually build something and 
look back at it and think, yeah, that's actually really nice compared to what it would have been 24 hours ago. Now, as I said, this is the world that we've just spawned, just showing you around to show exactly what is there. The world's your oyster with this. Some people will create absolute masterpieces. I do feel bad for the people that don't have the higher end graphics cards who play Minecraft because it is easy to run. You're not going to be able to get the chance to use this. You're going to have to upgrade. It will never ever see the graphics card that you have. If you haven't got a 2060 or above, you're not going to feel the benefits. Now as I said, I've got a 2080 Ti on one of the maps it did struggle a little bit but you can see I've kept all the stats up throughout it's never really underperformed massively at all now, as I said play with the lights how it works find the right angles as well you might put a wall in place like I'm doing now and find it doesn't really do much with light shafts but got to bear in mind how the shadows reflect over it as well that's going to be a key part that's what all ray tracing involves shadows and lights don't think it's just going to look amazing as soon as you put something down. You have to position it properly to really get an effect. You can see now I'm doing a darker area and straight away it looks totally different to what it did a minute ago just because I've manipulated the shadows and the lights. So that is RTX. That is how to get the RTX shader packs. That is how to install them. Go away, have fun create what you can with it and by all means let me know, link what you've done because I'm interested to see for once I'm actually looking forward to Minecraft.